guys so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how I made this rope basket. Now this can be used in your living room to hold your throw blankets for your couch or in your bedroom for all of your warm and cozy gear. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoy this DIY and that you stick around for more by subscribing to this channel. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the small basket from Dollar Tree and this fleece scarf also purchased at Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is remove these handles. So for this, I'm going to be using my side cutters and I'm basically just going to be clipping them off. This is fairly easy. So once it is nice and clipped off, I'm going to grab my scarf and I'm going to cut off the little fringe pieces. So now I'm going to grab my fabric and basically wrap it around the entire basket to see how much I need. And I am going to cut a little bit extra because it's better to have more than less. You can always cut it down later. But this is really stretchy fabric so it totally works in your favor. So now with the extra fabric, I'm going to grab my basket, place it on top, and trace out the circle. Now I cut that out, and it doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, mine is definitely not perfect. So I placed that on the bottom, and with some hot glue, I made sure to hot glue this into place. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. All of this is going to be covered up by the other piece of the scarf. You also have the option of skipping this step and just using a pillowcase, but it doesn't fit as nice and snug since it's square, so you can do these exact same steps with the pillowcase. So now I am going to take the other part of the scarf, line it on the inside, and the good thing about this is that it's really stretchy, so if you feel like you don't have enough, you can always work this in your favor. So now I'm just going to tuck this down. And I'm going to do this all the way around, making sure to pay extra attention to where the handles are so that doesn't pop up, and that, making sure that I'm stretching my fabric. So I'm just going to continue to add hot glue to the bottom, making sure that I do not burn my poor little fingers. So when I get to the very end, I'm kind of okay with the fact that the patterns don't line up, but you can always fold that extra piece of fabric so that it lines up, or you can pick fabric that doesn't have a pattern and is just one solid color. It's up to you. I personally do not mind. So now I'm going to straighten this out and fold it wherever it needs to be folded, and I'm going to hot glue the bottom pieces so that it doesn't move. Secure this all the way around, and for the outside, you can use Dollar Tree rope. I don't recommend it because it will require a lot of packs. So this is the same rope that I used in my last DIY. This is what's left over, but you know me, I love reusing craft supplies. It's the only real way to save money when crafting. The only part of the basket that you're going to have to hot glue is the very top and the very bottom. So make sure that you're adding a really generous amount of hot glue since this is what's going to be holding everything together and make sure that you're pressing down so that you're getting this nice and even and it doesn't look lopsided later on. Be very careful with your fingers because it's kind of hard to see where you're pressing since you have that little hoop. And you can stop hot gluing once you get past the solid red. At this point, you can just start wrapping around and pushing the rope up or down depending on how you have your basket positioned. And the reason you want to do this is so that there is no gaps at all and you won't be able to see the basket. So at this point, I was almost out of my rope and thank goodness this was enough. I managed to get all the way around. I really thought I was going to have to go and out and buy more. But even with pushing the rope down, I managed to get to the very top, and at this point I start hot gluing again. So once I get to the solid red, I hot glue, and once I get to the end, I cut off a little piece of the rope, hot glue the very edge so it doesn't fray, and hot glue that into place. And that's it! You have a totally convenient blanket basket. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and thank you so, so much for watching. Till next time.